Today, we're going to be setting up the Sony Z150. First, you're going to want to take out your tripod. Open the legs of the tripod and make sure that they are all level with the ground. Open the bottom extensions first if you wish to adjust the height. Next, you're going to want to insert the battery into the camera and use the arrows on the battery to guide it into the battery compartment. To insert the SD card, take it out of the case and slide it into section A of the camera by opening the SD card compartment. Next, take out the tripod plate and attach it to the bottom of the camera, aligning it with the correct hole. Use a coin or a screwdriver to screw it in, making sure it is just tight enough that you can get it off and not loose to where the camera can fall. Then, with your tripod set up and your tripod plate attached, slide the plate and the camera onto the tripod head, snapping and locking it into place. Now, you're going to want to level your tripod. Make sure the bubble is within the circle by screwing the level head under the tripod head. Now, your tripod is level. You're going to want to open the camera screen, power it on, the button is on the left and then open the lens through the lens switch near the front of the camera. You're going to want to format your SD card. Open the menu by clicking the menu button, scroll down to others, media format, and choose the corresponding SD card. Next, you're going to want to choose the recording format. Click menu, record slash outset, and choose XAVC HD or AVC HD with 1080p resolution and 24 or 60 frames per second. Make sure all of your cameras shoot the same settings for each single project. Next, turn off full auto. That button is on the left side of the camera. Now, take a white piece of paper and press the white balance button. By placing this piece of paper in front of the camera lens and pressing the white balance button, this will white balance your footage. The iris, also known as f-stop or aperture, controls how big or small the opening is. Manually adjust it via the ring at the front of the camera. Next, adjust the gain by trying to keep it as low as possible. The button is again on the left side of the camera. Next, adjust the shutter, which again is on the left side of the camera. This determines how long each individual frame is exposed. You now have a chance to add ND filters to the camera. You can also turn on zebra stripes, which is located in the menu. You can also turn on steady shot by going into menu, camera set, and clicking steady shot. The zoom ring will allow you to zoom in and out of the camera. It's located at the front of the camera. The focus ring is also at the front of the camera. Turn it to go in and out of focus. Now, the tripod moves in two directions, pan, meaning left or right, and tilt, meaning up or down. The record button is located on numerous places on the camera. You can click it to begin recording. Once recording, you can click it once more to stop the recording. You have now successfully set up the Sony Z150.